Ready? Here we go. Hey guys, it's Danger Debs, and all the Pride festivals in Scotland are over. So it's time to show you my Pride haul. Everything that I've gotten from a Pride parade, a Pride event, or something to do with Pride, I'm going to show you. But before I show you, I'm going to show you my cosplay for MCM Scotland, which is coming up on September the 28th to the 29th in the SSCC. So what the cosplay as? Drum roll please! I'm going to be Tinkerbell and I'm going to be Barbie, or some people call it the Pride Flag. <laughs> <laughs> so I've, I've just had the Tinkerbell once for Glasgow Film and Comic Con, there's a vlog on that. So I'm going to take Tinkerbell on Sunday and I'm going to be Barbie on Saturday. But some people call it the <laughs> gay flag because it's got a lot of colours in it. The corset, the skirt, my unicorn horns and I'm also taking my pride flags with me which I really need to show you at the end. They're really magical and everybody just wants to know where I get these pride flags from because they're, they're, they're a magical ribbons. But for now, let's get on with the pride haul. The first thing I'm going to show you from any pride parade I've been to is a fan, not a flag, a fan. Because on a hot day, if the pride parade is good in Scotland, just fan yourself away. I mean, we have a lot of pride events in Scotland because we don't know when it's going to rain. And when it rains, you should have a pride umbrella, which you don't have. But when it's hot, have a fan! Or, if you've forgotten your fan, just, you know, put your sunglasses on. I've had these sunglasses for a year, and I'm so glad I have these. Like, these are free. Everything I'm literally showing you is free. If you go to a pride parade, take a bag, and your bag will be full of stuff from the pride parade that's going past you. Just literally let them put sweeties and free things in your bag, okay? Like lanyards, badges. I'm gonna go through all these badges in a minute, but I want to show you what's in this bag. It's all from Pride. So we got a pass. You can put your cards in there, especially if you've got like a ticket to get on a train. A condom. <laughs> you can get these uh, pressures fairs, which are happening right now. Uh, some bands. More bands. I don't know what these are from. Um, it just says learning the playing field with pride. I've also got a sweatband in here. I literally wear this every day. I wear a watch over it because I don't like the watch. I feel like it can take away my skin. But I like wearing this, especially if it was like a hot day, just take a sweat off. Um, I really do like it. It shows that like I support pride. I'm here if you want to speak to me. I don't mind. I'm a youth worker. <laughs> some mints from Scott Rails. I think it's good. Some sweeties, um, Harry Bowl sweeties. I shouldn't eat them. Harry Bowl makes me hyper, so I do not eat Harry Bowl when I'm working. Oh, more badges, condoms. I'm, not, I'm never going to use them. Uh, sweeties, more sweeties. These are sweeties to do with like what flavor they're going to be. I don't know unless I eat them. Am I eating soap? I ate them on the train once. One of, one of them was hot. Uh, Cosmic from Body Shop. They just went past me and said, do you want a bag of beauty stuff? And I said, yes. And that's what was in it. I've got a sticker here that says, trans is beautiful. I hope it is beautiful, even though the saddest thing, oh, like, there's a lot of trans people who die so quickly. I wish that didn't happen. So that's like the biggest thing. There's a lot of pride stickers on my laptop. There's one that says, by Wi-Fi, it means two things, Wi-Fi and bisexual. If you see the colours, that's the bisexual flag, pink, purple, blue, and then you've got uh, some company with a logo on there that's got the pride. The next thing I'm going to show you is this book that I got called Free To Be Me. It's a creative activity book that's got a lot of pages you can finish off just by writing it, colouring it reading the quotes from people who support Pride, like Jonathan from Queer Eye, so many people, and just have fun with it. I really do like the book. And it reminds me what every gender flag means. Like, this is my favorite flag, because it's got the rainbow. The last thing I'm gonna show you before I show my badges is this. It's a paint grease. All it does is that you can paint your hands, paint your face, the, the rainbow that's right behind me. It's really good, like I've just sometimes 
just seen people hold it in the parade and said, do you want it? And then just like, take your hand and just peel it on the, your hand. Like a, like a fake tattoo. I think it's really good. I mean, it's like chalk. It runs out, it runs out. Before I show you my pride ribbons, I'm gonna show you every single badge I have from a pride parade or a pride event, okay? The first one I got is a Captain Marvel badge. I got it from Glasgow Film and Comic Con. There's a lot of different badges out there with different gender flags on it, but this one's my favorite because it's got the rainbow. Seriously, the rainbow is my favorite color right now. You may not say like, devs, the rainbow is not a color. Guys, it is, okay? In my dictionary, it is a color. Next is hashtag everyday hero. That's from the LGBT Youth Scotland. Next is something to do with a game logo. Next is BBC The Social. I'm a part of that and I recently did a video for BBC The Social where it's signs of pride. People just talk about their signs of pride, like what does it mean to them, what is this respond to the community and help to just put awareness when the parade's out. I've been filming a lot of the pride parades for BBC The Social so that's why I wear the badge. The other videos deal with issues like bullying, LGBT, respecting others and other issues that us that young adults go through. Next one is coming out to ball. I think that's to do with a prom that doesn't matter about your gender, who you dance with. Just enjoy wearing a dress if you're whatever. <laughs> There's a few other badges that you're seeing that I don't know about. All I know that this is the trance flag. That's from Yescon. Pride Nest, that was the second parade I got to at. Never been to the first one. I was in Spain at the time. I was like, yay! Everyone else is celebrating Pride! The next one is a better badge to do with LGBT Youth Scotland. You can see it much better. Then I saw this badge. Uh, God adores you. God loves everybody, no matter your gender. Well, I believe that. If you don't, then why does God love everybody then? And then we got God. God made you fabulous. That's from one of the churches I know that supports pride no matter what. And then I've got a badge that says they, them. So if you know somebody who you don't know is a he or she, they may want you to say, this is my pronoun, they or them. I'm still getting used to saying they or them. I've got a lot of friends that go by that and I'm trying to say it a lot and they respect me for trying to say the pronoun right. I'm very bad at pronouns, but I'm getting better and better every day. No badge. Uh, Rolling Stones, it's not from the concert, even though I have been to a Rolling Stones concert. Uh, Geeks are hot, I saw that in Edinburgh. And the last thing I'm going to show you is my, my Pride Fan Ribbons. The reason they're called Pride Fan Ribbons is because it's a fan with ribbons attached. I had to get these because when I was 17 I did Chinese fan dancing. They were red but these are pride bands so I know how to use them. I can make the river with them, I can make the sky with them, I can use one or two pride band ribbons at once and if a kid wants to have this I can only give them one. The main thing about these is they're so colourful. You don't want to put them in the washing machine and if it's raining best you pick it up. Never let this touch the ground or someone stand on it because they can easily break. I've got three of these just in case this one breaks. <laughs> My favourite routine to do with these prize band ribbons is to beat it. To beat it you take two hands and you just put your hands up and down and then if you go faster and faster you make the coolest sound ever. If I have one pride fan ribbon, I can just take the one in one hand, open the fan up, and very best I can, my hand right up the air and make like a rainbow sky, which is very, very hard to do. Yeah, that's the best I can do inside. <laughs> uh, if you ever get these, these are, these are very hard to hold for a little person. And if you are smaller than the fans that are about five feet, then come to the height you are so they don't touch the ground. So guys, that's my pride haul to do with a lot of things that I got from Pride Parade. Oh no, I forgot to show you my pride sign. This is the second pride sign I made. Just promote our radio show that talks about found in trash, 
fries, everything that cosplayers is just like talking about before a Comic Con event comes up. But this is the first thing I wrote for a Pride Parade. I wrote it on a box, then I wrote it on this cardboard. It says, Doctor, I don't care about your gender, you saved us. This is a great thing to have for the Pride Parade, whether you're in the Pride Parade or just watching it, hold your sign up and just support Pride. Anyway guys, that's the end of my Pride haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Whatever you do when you go to a Pride Parade, go with your friends and take an empty bag with you. You'll get a lot of freebies when you watch the Pride Parade or go to a Pride Festival itself. You may buy a whistle and to support Pride. Anyway guys, give this video a thumbs up, comment below and subscribe to me, Danger Devs. It's the memories to make us, so go out there and make some good memories and lots of bad memories. My next memory will be at MCM Scotland. See you there.